Okay, in this video we will discuss a tricky problem, namely the calculation of angles around a rotation axis. So, what is the problem? We can commonly define the problem as we want to rotate a vector v1 around an axis a and make it match the vector v2. So this is a typical problem in forward kinematics, for example, where we want to rotate something towards a target, given that we only have one degree of freedom. The first important thing to realize is that this will not always be exactly possible. So in this situation we see that we will never be able to use the rotation around the axis A to reach V2. But we can get close and close is then defined as we rotate V1 around A and make it lie underneath or above V2. So from the point of view, or you could call it looking directly uh, on A, on axis A, this is actually possible. All right. So we have an axis. Now we need to find the correct angle. Many students think that the angle is just, well, just the angle between the two vectors. But this is incorrect, right? So because V1 and V2 are not at the same height, so to speak, if you look from a side view, this angle will be a bit too big. So this will lead to subtle problems that are very hard to debug in a uh, application, in a game application, or even if you do just do 3D stuff. So what is the correct way to do it? You need to project V1 and V2 on the ground plane, like so. So how do you do that? Uh, you calculate the height uh, relative to the ground plane of the axis of rotation. So this is just the dot product. This is the height. And then the projected vector V1P is V1 minus this height times the axis A. So this is a simple projection mechanism that you can use. And you do the same thing for the vector V2. So you also project that down. And now you can calculate the angle of rotation. So this is the angle perpendicular to the axis of rotation, which gives you the correct result. And this angle is uh, easily calculated with the trigonometric identity of the dot product. So you have the alpha is the arc cosine of the dot product V2P, V1P divided by the multiplication of the lengths of those two vectors. So this concludes this video. So very important to realize that this is a potential problem and that to be safe, it's best if you calculate an angle of rotation around one axis, so one degree of freedom, you need to project uh, your vectors to calculate the actual angle. So this concludes this video.